There are a couple ways of setting up your camera for a, uh, a type of shot where you have people in a landscape or when you want to have everything in focus, uh, the subject, your person, as well as the landscape behind the person. So one way is just using the, uh, the program mode. And this is great if you have uh, the person is, is, let's say, more than about 10 or 12 feet away, about 3 meters uh, away from the camera. You're not going to be able to use the flash because it's not going to do anything to light up your subject. He's too far away, and it's certainly not going to do anything for the, for the background. So let's turn the camera on. So in this mode, the first thing you want to do is turn the flash off. Press the up navigation button to choose the no flash icon. Next, let's walk through the function menu to see how that is set up. I'll just press the function button here. And at the top, you see ISO. Uh, mine is currently set to 50. This is great when you're taking a picture outdoors and there's plenty of light. Uh, if it's a, a night picture, then, uh, then that's a whole nother, uh, another setting. Um, but for, for regular daylight pictures uh, where you're taking a picture of a person in a landscape, 50 is fine. Your white balance should be set to daylight or cloudy, depending on the condition. And that's about it. Your drive mode is uh, set to single shot. That's fine. Effect is turned off. Flash compensation. Again, we're assuming the subject is farther away. So flash compensation is not relevant. We're not using the flash. And metering should be set to evaluative because we do want the camera to look at everything in order to judge the right amount of light. Press the function button to exit the function menu. And that's pretty much it for, for this mode. Uh, don't forget to press the shutter button halfway first. This is very important. Focus on the person, pressing the shutter button halfway first, and then recompose to include the landscape and the person in the picture, and then press the shutter button the rest of the way. Now, if the person is a little bit closer, and you're really just taking a picture of their... Uh, like a, like a portrait, if you will, uh, like a mid shot, uh, maybe waist to head, and you want to include some of the background in the, in the shot, what you want to do is set your camera to aperture value or aperture priority. And what this will do is allow you to get the, the most of the picture in focus, as much, as much of the picture in focus. So with this available, Let's choose a, uh, an f-stop of 8.0. As you see here at the bottom, my aperture is highlighted, and it has the two green arrows, which indicates I can adjust it by using the left and right navigation buttons. And if I choose a smaller number, uh, I'm not going to get as much of the picture in focus, which is not good. I want to go with the biggest number I can, I can have, given the amount of light. Sometimes if there isn't a whole lot of light, then you won't be able to, uh, to maintain a, an aperture of 8.0 because that's too small. But if you can do 8.0 or if you can do even more than that, if you're zoomed in, uh, then go for it. So again, same thing. Press the shutter button halfway, focusing on the person, and then recompose and take the picture. And because we previously set the... Uh, the aperture value to 8.0, everything will be in focus, the background and the person. As you can see in my case, my shutter speed is 1 over 25th, and that's not fast enough for me to handhold the camera, which is why I have this blinking red camera indicating that, uh, that I'm in danger. Uh, but if you're outdoors and it's a broad daylight situation, you should have no problem at all. So good luck.